Hi, welcome to Simple Scuba. This is tomorrow's Micron HD Air Ready, an integrated um, dive computer with full colour LCD display. And we're going to quickly run through some of the features and uh, settings that are inside. So the Morrow's Icon HD Air uh, is an upgrade to the uh, previous Icon and includes a uh, facility to put an optional wireless transmitter on. So that's obviously integrating the, the cylinder pressure into the computer itself. When you turn the Icon on, this is what you're greeted with. You've got a menu system using full colour display because uh, it's a, a TFT screen. It's very much like a computer screen at home. You've got a completely changeable um, menu system. Uh, four buttons along the bottom and they're changeable as well. So you, generally you've got the two in the centre for navigation. Uh, the right one is normally select and this one is normally back if you're near any of the menu systems. Uh, so you can scroll through any of these menus and you've got what it is at the top of the, the screen. So dive mode, to go into dive mode, obviously it will switch into dive mode automatically when you dive, but you can view it uh, manually as well. So in here, you have everything you need to know about what's going on with your dive. On the right hand side, in this bar here, you've got the air capacity. So it will show in here your air cylinder pressure. You've also got uh, ascent warnings, things like that, they all show up in this Two thirds of the screen. Uh, you've got your current depth. You've got your what your current uh, gas mix is. So we're currently set as air. Your, your um, dive time, temperature. Also saying down here that we're using 21% oxygen, so a typical air mix. And also shows in here what you've got your computer set at. So if you're using um, a, a higher conserva uh, conservative setting, it will show in here what you're currently set at, and also whether you've selected salt or freshwater use. So as you're diving, this screen will obviously change uh, to show the current status. Uh, and as you come to an end of a dive, for instance, you incur a safety stop. As you come up, uh, that stop will appear at the top of the screen. And as you ascend, that will slowly move down the screen to its center center, and it will um, give you your time, how long you need to stay there, and things like that. So it's a very intuitive screen, very, very easy to read. Um, all the colours really make it um, a very visual thing. If it's an emergency, if it really needs to get hold of your attention, things will start flashing in red. So it's very easy to see if you need to um, be aware of something. So back to the menu system. We'll have a look at some of the settings. You've got uh, basically two different types of settings. You've got ones that affect the dive, and ones that affect the computer. So in the set dive, you've got um, what uh, mix you're going to be using. So currently it's set on air. You can choose nitrox um, and also bottom timer facility. So it'll only record your maximum depth, current depth, things like that. So if we uh, choose nitrox, you can get to choose your gases. So you've got three gases which you can switch between um, and you obviously set the, the mix percentage and also the um, parcel pressure as well. Pressing back, um, here you can set your uh, conservative factor. So normally it's on low P0. You can add, uh, you can increase the conservative, make it a bit more safer to dive. But obviously it will restrict your um, dive time. You'll get less time, but obviously it's more more safe. Altitude. Obviously, if you're diving at any uh, higher lakes or anything like that, you can obviously adjust it, and it gives you an indicator of the height in which you're supposed to be using that. And then you also got whether you're using salt or you're diving in salt or fresh water. Gas integration obviously is where you set up your um, transmitter. You can pair it in here. You can set your uh, warnings uh, so you get turnaround times. So if it gets to midway, for instance, you can set a warning for that. When it gets to a minimum point that you want to set out, whether it's 50 bar or anything like that, when you reach that, it will let you know. So set those sort of warnings in there. Uh, lots of other features in here about alarms, uh, display systems, uh, how much information is shown on the display. You can set that information in here. 
Uh, you also have the ability to erase um, desaturation. So if you're um, loaning it to someone, for instance, uh, and they have not done a dive before, you can erase the information and it will basically be clear. In set computer, you basically set up um, how the computer can perform. So languages, clock time, units you want it in, screen brightness, things like that. So things that affect the computer itself. Compass, fully integrated compass, electronic compass, gives you current bearing, so as you turn, it will obviously react. Logbook, you can obviously preview each previous dive, gives you the uh, information on there, so maximum depth, dive time, temperature, average depth, and will also give you a profile on the screen if you want to see it. Got a dive planner, just simple um, estimated bottom times based on your current uh, saturation levels. The icon is able to store maps, uh, basically just graphics, uh, so it gives you a bit of navigation support when you're on a dive, say if you dive um, a wreck that is well known, has some maps, you can upload the maps to the computer and you can switch to it whilst on the dive and uh, it gives you a bit of navigation help, so if you've got some big observation points you can swim to, um, and it gives you some reference points uh, to move on from. You can also add photos, so if there's particular things you want to look out for, you can add them in here, view them on the screen, so like this is uh, the standard image that um, Mara's put on, and it gives you a ref visual reference for something you might be looking for, for instance. And then the final one is a lock button. So if you're not going to be using it for any time, just to help prevent uh, battery drain, you can enter it in this mode. Obviously, it's a dimmer uh, and it ac prevents accidental activation. So I just need to um, activate it with a button and it just says press one and two and it's reactivated. So a full decompression dive computer, loads of features, rechargeable battery, just needs to be plugged into the mains or USB and will charge it up. Uh, PC interface as well, supplied with the, the pack, uh, the um, software is downloadable, downloads all the information from your previous dives into the software and it gives you much more uh, information that you can preview and look at, add information, things like your dive equipment, um, things you saw, where it was, location, things like that. So it's a very feature rich dive computer and it now has that wireless air integration as well. So this is the Mara's Icon HD Air.